Howdy howdy my fellow gamers, welcome to another React video because Avenged Sevenfold dropped a new uh, single for Black Ops 4. I'm really excited about the fact that they're still making music for Black Ops even if I am no longer a fan of Black Ops. It's still fun to have Avenged Sevenfold being those guys. Um, it's also good to hear M Shadows back in the studio, especially after they had to cancel part of their world tour because of his throat surgery and all that. So hopefully we get a new Avenged album soon. But without further ado, let's see what the Mad Hatter is all about. Starting off clean, almost like coming home. A little bit more of a haunting feel to it, I like it. I don't like that they're getting rid of the campaign in Black Ops 4 just to focus on the Battle Royale mode. And that's where they really lost me. If I get it, it'll be for zombies and it'll be when it's on sale. Like, no. Oh, a nice drop. Reminiscent of uh, Afterlife, almost. I like it. <laughs> I'm excited to see Sinister Solo in here. I'm excited that they still have Brooks Wackerman drumming for them too. He's a great fit. So far, I still like um, Coming Home. Not Coming Home. Not Ready to Die. Better. Here we go. Somebody told me that they felt that Shadows was overpowered by the instruments and that it was a bad mix. To me it sounds fine, studio quality. Um, the vocals might be a smidge low, but I think that's because he's still recovering from his surgery and everything, so they might have had to focus more on the instruments. And also, for stuff like that, it's supposed to just be ambiance, not slowly we're bled. There we go. And then back into a verse, okay. Shadows always has a very interesting way of lighting, like lyric-wise. If you look at this and uh, a little piece of heaven. He loves to tell stories. They don't always need a rhyme. Whereas Red Hot Chili Peppers would go out of the way to make every word rhyme if it doesn't make sense. Don't get me wrong, I still love Red Hot Chili Peppers too. But this is also reminiscent of Coheed and Cambria a little bit. Just the chronological story that he's telling. I didn't hear much of a guitar solo, like, when uh, he was saying, you know, slowly we're bled, I could hear Sin doing some stuff on the background, but generally it's a Sinister Gates guitar solo. To have them doing it at the same time is interesting. It takes away from both of their talents. How long do we have left? 30 seconds. It's the end of the song. All right, a 
and that was Mad Hatter by Avenged Sevenfold. As far as the uh, Call of Duty songs go, uh, probably my least favorite one from them. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoyed it. I still thought it was a great song, and I'm still stoked to see Avenged come back. But uh, the other ones that they did were top-notch. Top-notch. And I'm sure after a couple more listens, it'll grow on me more, but it just seemed like this one was a lot more tame in terms of Avenged. Very, almost like they went into the studio, wrote it in one day to get it done, and then left. So, because they're... Instrumentally-wise, it just went back to um, the riff a lot in the verse. The da 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 And then there was that clean solo part. You know, that would take a little while, but then it goes back to the chorus and the verse. Whereas, you know, like, Afterlife had more depth to it. Um, not Ready to Die... Carry On, loved Carry On, um, but I'm excited just to see that they're back, that they're still recording, and that Shadows is feeling better, so hopefully we get a new album from them, hopefully I'm wrong about Black Ops 4, and it doesn't suck complete ass, and uh, hopefully you guys will all come back for the next one, tell us what you like, tell us what your thoughts were, and as always, stay freaky.